my Marvin, the tap dancing horse. He can dance, he can dance, he can dance. Just shine that spotlight on me. Every show must have a star. He can dance, he can dance, he can dance, he can dance. Go down, I'm ready to perform. This is my home up on the stage. I'll dance for you, and we'll perform for you too. I'm Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse. Would you like a nice cup of peanut tea, Elizabeth? Peanut tea? Uh, maybe after my snack diamonds. Well, bon appétit! Mm -hmm. There you go, Marvin. Thanks for the pedicure, Eddie. It pays to keep your tappers in tip-top shape. Oh, I'm stuck on this crossword puzzle again. What's a nine-letter word for a bothersome nuisance? <laughs> That's it! Elizabeth! You think I'm a bothersome nuisance? If the name fits. Uh, which it doesn't. It has to end with an E. Annoyance! You think I'm an annoyance? No, Elizabeth. Eddie was just guessing a crossword. And Stripes was just being Stripes. Annoyance. It fits. Hey, Eddie. You've got mail. I do? I wonder who it's from. I see a woman. It must be your mother, Eddie. She has 26 children. It can't be my mom. It is from Mrs. Fussbinder and her grade three class. Wow, Edna, your mystical powers are amazing. How do you do it? It was all revealed to me right here, my boy. Oh, the return address. <laughs> Thanks, Edna. Are those the kids that came for a carnival tour? Yeah. I wonder why they're sending me a letter. They were so adorable. Adorable? Yeah, they weren't throwing caramel popcorn at you. Hey, Mrs. Fussbinder says my cotton candy demonstration was everybody's favorite part of the field trip. What do you know? Your first fan letter. Gee, I guess it is. I had a fan when I was dancing on Broadway who sent me a bouquet of carrots after every show. Oh, how thoughtful. I suppose, if I liked carrots. I had a fan that sent me a five-page poem about my eyes. Your two eyes glisten like emerald pools. I love them, I must confess. They're worth more than the riches of any oh. treasure chest. Oh, it's enough to make your whiskers curl, isn't it? I still have my first fan letter. I keep it in a big box with all the others. How about you, Elizabeth? I-I've never received a fan letter in my whole life. Oh, hey. <clears throat> It's plain to see what your problem is. In order to get fan mail, you have to have fans. <gasps> oh! <laughs> what did I say? Too much. As usual. Well, excuse me for trying to help. Imagine never getting any fan mail and having to sit through all our stories. I'd better go try to cheer her up. I wish there was something we could do for Elizabeth. She seemed awfully upset, even more than usual. You know, Eddie, maybe there is something we can do. Let's see, what have we got here? You display the wonderful traits of charm and courtesy. That's a nice thing to say, too. Gee, writing a fan letter is easy when you got a bag of fortune cookies handy. And as long as we destroy the evidence, mm. Elizabeth will never know we wrote it. Yeah, this was a great idea, Marvin. Okay, what else can we put? Oh, she'll like this. Your smile is your greatest asset. She does have a nice smile. That looks long enough, Eddie. Let's finish it off. Okay. Mm. Sincerely yours. Whose name should I put at the bottom? 
You know, my favorite uncle would write a letter like this. What's his name? Old Chestnut. Uh, I don't know, Marvin. Yeah, I suppose it does sound a little like a horse's name, but uh, that's what he was. Hey, I know. We can pick a name from the phone book. Good thinking, Eddie. I choose that one. Reginald Q. Farnsworth. Perfect. Yes, it's quite distinguished sounding. Sincerely yours, Reginald Q. Farnsworth. You will win success in whatever you adopt. You display the wonderful traits of charm and courtesy. Your smile is your greatest asset. Sincerely yours, Reginald Q. Farnsworth. Isn't that beautiful? It's like poetry. Sounds like something out of a fortune cookie to me. Huh? Hey! That's a lovely letter, Elizabeth. I've never had someone say so many nice things about me. What do you think about the handwriting? Well, he has very tidy penmanship. So, you really like the letter, Elizabeth? Oh, yes. I'm going to frame it and hang it on my wall. Now I know that wonderful feeling of having a fan. Thanks for helping me put my groceries away, Eddie. No <clears throat> problem, Marvin. Whew. Is that your fan letter, Elizabeth? No, it's a picture of me. See you later. I wonder why she's carrying around her picture. It's because she's feeling good about herself, Eddie. And it's all thanks to us. Well, that fan letter certainly cheered her up. Yes, it's heartwarming to see how such a small gesture can brighten someone's life. Yeah, I wonder if that Reginald fellow will feel the same way when she gives him that picture. Huh? What did you say? You know, that fan of hers. She's off to town to meet him. Meet him? Why would she want to do that? Well, why not? I wish someone would send me a letter like that. Someone tall, dark, and handsome. And rich! <laughs> uh, I really wasn't expecting this. I have a feeling Mr. Farnsworth won't be either. Oh no, what about Elizabeth? How will she feel when her only fan doesn't recognize her? Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Wait! Elizabeth! Oh no! We're too late! No, we're not. Hop on, Eddie. We're hoofing it. You're gonna try and catch up with her? Yep. She has a good head start on us, but I think we can catch her. Watch my dust! Whoa! Well, we've lost her. You were keeping up just great, Marvin. Until we got stuck at that red light. Oh, Elizabeth must be sobbing in front of some bewildered stranger by now. This was a bad idea right from the start. Hey, hold on. Is that Elizabeth up there? That's our pig. Come on, Eddie. <clears throat> Elizabeth, wait! What are you doing here? We were just about to ask you the same thing. You shouldn't be in this part of town by yourself. It's dangerous. <laughs> dangerous? That's right. Let's get you back to the carnival where it's nice and safe. I'll make you some cotton candy. You'll love it. But I haven't met my fan. I don't think that's a good idea, Elizabeth. What do you mean? You're a celebrity. If you get too friendly with the public, they won't leave you alone. That's right. They'll bother you day and night. Let me give this to him, and I'll meet you back at the carnival. I want to give it to him. I can tell by his letter that he's not the type who would bother anyone. But wait. What if you bother him? Maybe he's sleeping. Yeah, you don't want to wake up your fan. He won't be your fan anymore if you disturb him. I'll take my chances. Elizabeth, no! Oops. Who put that there? Well, it looks like there's no one home. Oh, uh, too bad. Oh, well, at least it's a nice day for a walk home. Wait! I have to leave my picture. Uh, 
hello. Reginald Q. Farnsworth? Yes. Oh, oh, you're exactly how I pictured you. It's me, Elizabeth. Tell me again about my smile. I beg your pardon? Don't you remember? Just give him the picture, Elizabeth. I'm sorry we bothered you. Yes, I will just be on our way in. What uh... has gotten into you two? You're embarrassing me in front of my fan. All I want to do is thank him for sending me that charming letter. Well, there must be some sort of mix-up. I didn't send a letter to you. Then, who did? Ah, <sighs> we wrote the letter, Elizabeth. What? You were feeling so sad about never having a fan, so... We kind of invented one for you. We thought it would cheer you up. Uh, sorry, Elizabeth. What? Elizabeth? Oh! I knew it was too good to be true. I'll never have any fans. There, there, no need to cry. In my opinion, you have something worth far more than fans. I do? Yes. You have fans. Friends who truly care about you. Good point, Reg. I, I mean, Mr. Farnsworth. We do care about you, Elizabeth. I must say, you went to a great deal of trouble to cheer her up. It's very commendable. I see you're a juggler. Extraordinary. I'll have to see your act sometime. How about right now? That's a splendid idea. Why don't you come inside? I'll put on the kettle for some tea. And then Reggie served us all tea and biscuits, and I juggled oranges in his parlor and only broke one or two things. <coughs> Okay, it might have been more, but Reggie didn't mind. Oh, he was such a gentleman. And when I finished, he gave me a standing ovation. I've got another letter for Little Miss Popular. Special delivery, no less. <gasps> Don't look at us. We've learned our lesson. Oh, it's from him. Dear Elizabeth, Thank you very much for your unique juggling performance. Don't worry about the lamp, the vase, and the china. They're all replaceable. But I must say, you are one of a kind. Oh, that's lovely. Wait, here's the best part. It's signed, Reginald, your faithful fan. Oh, how thoughtful. Coming. Ned Booster? The famous astronaut? Let's see that. Of all the places in the galaxy he could visit, he's chosen our little county? That's what it says. <gasps> oh, how exciting! Who cares about Ned Booster? Did anyone read this article about the price of chicken going up? Hey, everybody! Did you hear the news? We certainly did, and I know what we should do. Really? Yes. We should raise our own chickens. We could set up a good-sized ranch right out back. Chickens? I was talking about Ned Booster coming to town. Oh. He'll be going right by here. An event like this could really put us on the map. Think of the publicity. Think of the crowds. Think of all the work we have to get done. Oh. I was afraid he might say that. Oh, my trunk is getting tired from all this reaching. Oh, and my knees are getting sore from all this clipping. Pa! My mouth tastes terrible from all these dandelions. And this jigsaw puzzle has too many pieces of sky in it. I hope Ned Blister notices all the hard work we've done. Well, he'll only notice if he bothers to stop. Yes, I suppose that's true. Yeah, maybe you're right, Stripes. Ned Booster's been to outer space. What would impress him here? 
You guys, of course. That's who. Oh, what a sweet thing to say. Thank you, Eddie. It's true. Who wouldn't want to meet you? Eddie, you're an inspiration. This is an opportunity to put our best foot forward. Sure. Tell him you're a tap dancing horse. He'll be impressed. Tell him? I'll show him. Are you ready? I'm ready. This space stuff. What do you mean? You know, just say hello and talk to him. That's all? I can do better than that, Eddie. I'm a tap dancing horse. What's that? It's Saturn! Whoa! 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 Oh dear, I broke Saturn. Don't worry about it, Diamonds. I'm sure Ned Booster will be happy just to meet you. On the moon. The moon? Sure. Paint craters on your ball and roll in on that. Yes. Uh, guys? And I could wear a fancy costume. Guys! <sighs> Hello, Eddie. Hi, Elizabeth. What are you carrying? The solar system. I'm going to juggle all the planets for Ned Booster. to work? Not without a quick disappearing act after it. Oh! I've got nothing to offer Ned Booster! You got yourself, Elizabeth! <laughs> That's the advantage of being a tiger. You don't have to do anything and you still look impressive. I heard you were going to entertain Ned Booster, so I thought I'd dust off the old accordion to see if I still remember how to play. Oh, no. Not Jack, too. Oh, uh, this is going to hurt. Yes, sirree. It's just like riding a bicycle. You never forget. I'd rather listen to him ride a bicycle. Now all I need are some lyrics to accompany it. So much for looking impressive. <laughs> It's nap time, Eddie. What do you want? I need you to talk to Marvin and Diamonds. Why? They look ridiculous, but I don't want to be the one to tell them. So you want me to do it? Uh, you're good at that kind of thing. I'll think about it. Eddie? <laughs> Marvin? Oh, open up my helmet! <laughs> oh, whew. Thanks. You sure look hot. Hot? I'm roasting alive in here. But isn't this a great outfit? Uh, it's really something. What do you think, Stripes? Oh, there you are. Look at my outfit, Eddie. These oceans and continents are slimming, don't you think? Uh, um, did you hear that? Huh? Someone's calling me. Uh, coming! I didn't hear anyone. <clears throat> I've got a new act. Watch me juggle the stars. What? Ahem. Over here, Elizabeth. <gasps> oh, I'll never have an act ready in time. <laughs> oh, well, this thing needed some air holes anyway. How's it going, gang? <gasps> oh, no. No accordion? It's back in my office. Wait till you hear this. Won't you stop by, Ned Booster? Won't you stop oh. by? Come on and stay a while. We've 
got the corn dogs cooking, we've got the rides, we're gonna make you smile. Isn't it great? I put it on tape so everyone can learn the words and sing along. How thoughtful. Attention, everyone. It's time to head out to the main gate and greet Ned Booster. I can't wait till Ned Booster gets a load of this costume. This is so exciting. Hey, Stripes, didn't you hear Jack? Stripes? Hello? What? Huh? Didn't you hear what I said? Hold on, Eddie. Why are you wearing earplugs? They're my protection against any sudden accordion music. Ned Booster's gonna be here soon. Come on, we have to go. I'm coming. Hey, Elizabeth! Ned Booster's on his way! Come on! I'm not going. You're not going? <laughs> Elizabeth, what's the matter? I don't have an act. You don't need an act. Oops, sorry, Elizabeth. The, the corn looks so good, and it smelled even better, and... and... gee, is it ever good! Really? It's the most delicious corn I've ever tasted! <gasps> Hurry, Eddie! Ned Booster's coming! Oh, excuse me, please. Can I get through, please? Pardon us. Isn't this exciting, Eddie? It sure mm, is. Good. Hey, keep your hands to yourself, mister. This is for Ned. Of course, after the show, we'll have to pose with Ned for the news photographers. I can't wait to see tomorrow's front page. Stripes, move your cage! Ned won't be able to see us, Stripes! 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 He's ignoring us. Here he comes! <gasps> stripes, move! <gasps> move your cage, Stripes! My stomach is full of butterflies! Stripes, you're in the way! Move your cage, Stripes! I can't hear anything you're saying. Won't you stop by, Ned Booster? Won't you stop by? Come on and stay a while. No. We've got the corn dogs cooking. We've got the rides. We're gonna make you smile. Booster's gone. He didn't see my act. Well, that's showbiz. Hmm. You ought to do something about your fur, Stripes. You look like a cheap carnival prize. As long as I live, I shall never forget this day. Me neither. Me neither. Hey, everybody! I saw Ned Booster! That's great, Eddie. I saw the tail lights of his limo. All that work for nothing. Not really. You could do your new act tonight in the performance tent. You're right, Eddie. Yeah, who needs Ned Booster? I can impress a whole tent full of people. And I can serve my corn. Yeah, did you guys try Elizabeth's corn? It's really good. Mm. Oh. It's the best I ever had! 
It's not chicken, but it's not bad. Mmm, this corn is good. If this doesn't sound <laughs> too corny, I think this was the perfect day.